Hello everyone, welcome to Naso Academy. In the previous lecture, we understood enumerated constants. Now we are in this lecture, and the name of this lecture is Introduction to Literal Constants. In this lecture, I will introduce you to literal constants. So, without any further delay, let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics. The first topic and the only topic of this lecture is literal constants. So, let's proceed further and let's understand what are literal constants. We learned about different types of constants. We know there are two types of constants, named constants and literal constants. We learned different types of named constants, constant variables, macros and enumerated constants. In the previous lecture, we understood enumerated constants. Now, the focus of this lecture is literal constants. Now, we will understand what are literal constants. For this, first I will give you the English meaning of a literal or a literal constant. So, let's proceed further. In English, a literal represents the exact word or value as it is. So, a literal represents a fixed value or a word. Now, let's understand the meaning of literal in English with the help of an example. Here is the example. The temperature is literally 42 degrees Celsius. So, this is said by some person. Speaker has mentioned this, that the temperature right now is literally 42 degrees Celsius. This means that temperature is exactly 42 degrees Celsius. The meaning of this word literally here is that the exact temperature is 42 degrees Celsius. The speaker is not exaggerating the temperature. This is the exact temperature right now. I hope the meaning of literal is making sense to you. A literal represents the exact word or value. In this example, literal is 42. This is the exact value. This represents the exact temperature right now in degrees Celsius. So, with this we learned what is the meaning of literal in English. Now, let's understand the meaning of a literal or a literal constant in C++. In C++, a literal or a literal constant is a fixed value without identifier that can be used directly in the code. You can relate the definition of a literal in C++ with the definition of literal in English. A literal in C++ or a literal constant in C++ is a fixed value or an exact value. This is what I have mentioned in English as well. In English, a literal represents the exact word or a value. So clearly, in C++ also, literal or a literal constant is a fixed or exact value. This value we can use directly in the code. This is the case in C++. And it does not have an identifier associated with it. It is different from named constant. In case of a named constant, it is the constant or a fixed value which has an associated identifier. This is what we learned about named constants. But when we say a literal constant, we mean a constant or a fixed value which does not have an associated identifier. It is just a fixed value or an exact value which we can directly use in the code. Now, I hope it is clear to you what is the meaning of literal in C++. Let's see some examples of literals in C++. These are some examples of literals or literal constants. 45, 3.14159, capital A within single quotes, hello world within double quotes. These are some examples of literals or literal constants. 45 is the integer literal. 
3.14159 is the floating point literal or we can say the decimal literal with the decimal point. Capital A is the character literal because it is written within single quotes. Hello world within double quotes is the string literal. So these are examples of literals. By the way, from now on in this course, I will address literal constants as literals because this is the most common interpretation of literal constants. I will not use the word literal constants more frequently. I will use literals. Now let's see some use cases or usages of literals in C++. The first one is we can use a literal to initialize a variable. Like in this case, I have initialized this variable with value 5.6. The name of this variable is d and the type of this variable is double. Therefore, this variable can hold a floating point value. I have provided this value 5.6 within these braces. I have used list initialization, which is the best practice we know already. So, this is the floating point literal. I have used this literal to initialize this variable. This is one use case of a literal. The another use case is we can print the literal directly on the screen with the help of the cout object like this. Here, I have used the cout object to print the string hello world on the screen. This is the string literal which I am directly providing here. With the help of the cout object, this string literal will be displayed on the screen. So, this is the second use case of the literals. Now, let's see the third use case. The third use case is that we can use a literal in expression. For example, here I have used these literals in an expression like this. Here I have 5 plus 6 divided by 11. 5, 6 and 11 are literals or literal constants. So these are the three use cases of literals in C++. We can use literals directly in the code. This is what I have written here. In this line of code, I have used this literal directly. Similarly, in this line of code, I have used this literal directly. These literals do not have any associated identifier. So, no interpretation is required for these literals. We can use them directly and they will be interpreted directly. These are fixed values and they do not have identifiers associated with them. Here in this expression also, I have used these literals 5, 6, 11 directly. So with this, I hope it is clear what is the meaning of a literal constant. And with this, we are done with this topic, literal constants. This means we are done with this lecture. We have understood what are literal constants and how we can use literal constants in code, that is in C++ code. So with this, we are done with this lecture. Okay, friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next lecture where we will discuss different types of literals.